So guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Coding Asylum. Today we are going to deal with tokens in Python. This is the third video lecture of Python Basics 1. So without wasting any time, we are starting our video. Okay, so what are tokens in Python? First of all, what a token means in Python? Okay, the smallest individual unit in the program is known as a token or a lexical unit. Okay, you can uh, see the same in uh, screen. Okay, th this was a theoretical definition of what is a token. We are not going to deal with the definitions here. We are going to deal with the actual meaning. So first of all, we may uh, we should see that uh, what are the types of tokens and what are the tokens available in Python? Okay, so Python has five tokens available, which are keywords, identifiers, literals, operators, and punctuators. Today, in this video, we will be dealing with three key, uh, three tokens of Python that are keywords, identifiers, and punctuators. Okay, so let's start with keyword. So what a keyword mean in Python? A keyword is a word having special meaning reserved by a programming language. Not only Python, in every programming language there there are, there are some uh, reserved words which have a special meaning in a programming language. Okay, I have given some examples in the screen. You may see in the text box that, that a very number of key keywords are available there like false, as a del, for, in and so forth. Okay, these all are the keywords in Python. Keywords are those words having some reserved meanings in programming languages you need not define them in programming languages you can uh, use the words uh, um, you can use the words uh, independently okay without defining them so you may notice that uh, almost all the keywords here are uh, starting with the lowercase letters okay only there are only three there are only three keywords in python which start with an uppercase letter which are true false and none except these three keywords rest all keywords in python start with the lowercase letter or small alphabets okay then we are going to deal with identifiers okay so what are identifiers identifiers are the names given to different parts of the program with variables objects classes functions lists dictionaries and so forth okay so what are identifiers identifiers are defined by programmers uh, programmers do define their uh, identifiers their variables the names that they want to give to the variables object classes and so forth and uh, what are uh, such things like objects classes functions we will be dealing with them in the next videos okay so don't take tension now that uh, you don't know about uh, what are functions lists we will be dealing it in the uh, upcoming videos okay so first of all uh, we may see some rules that are defined for uh, uh, to define an identifier in python okay so what are the naming rules of, for Python identifiers? Okay, so uh, there are three basic rules for uh, for defining an identifier in Python, which are the first one is then an, an identifier must be a non-keyword word with no spaces in between. An identifier should not be a keyword. It shouldn't be a keyword. Like for example, uh, in these keywords, you may look at uh, uh, there are various words. Okay. An identifier cannot be any of the words among these words. Okay, these are the keywords. Of course, these are not all the keywords available in this text box, but I have mentioned uh, almost all the useful ones here. Okay, so uh, an identifier shouldn't be among these. Okay, and an identifier uh, should be a single word, should be made up of a single word with uh, and th that's why it shouldn't have a space. If you are going to name it with uh, some multiple words, then uh, either you will be having no space in between or you can add an underscore in between okay and the uh, next rule is it must be made up of only letters numbers and an underscore except underscore no other special character is allowed in identifier like you cannot use an asterisk in identifier okay only an underscore is allowed uh, and uh, underscore letters and numbers are allowed to define an identifier to define a variable in Python. And uh, the third rule is it can't begin with a number. Although an identifier can uh, have numbers, it may contain numbers, but it shouldn't begin with an identifier. Let us uh, let us have a look at some examples of validity of identifiers. Okay, so the, you may see you may look at uh, two text boxes available in the screen. Uh, the left hand side, which is brown in color, are uh, valid identifiers, and uh, and uh, in the right hand side the blue box is inval is of invalid identifiers so just look at the valid identifiers once and then come to the second one so i'm going to uh, say i'm going to uh, mention the reasons that why are these invalid identifiers in the blue box so the see the first one data dash rec okay it is containing a dash a hyphen okay 
So an identifier cannot contain a hyphen. Among these special characters, it may only contain an underscore, no other special character, but it is containing a hyphen and that's why it's a uh, it's, an, it's an invalid identifier. The second one, which is 29 CL City. Why is it invalid? The uh, reason for its invalidity is it's starting with a digit. An identifier shouldn't start with a digit as mentioned earlier. Uh, okay, so uh, an identifier shouldn't start with a digit. And then the third one, which is break. Now, why this is invalid? Sorry, this is not actually invalid one. I have... Uh, written it uh, wrongly it shouldn't be break with b small with small b okay if it would be a small b then it would be an invalid identifier but here uh, this break is invalid identifier that you are seeing here this is a valid identifier uh, kept in the wrong text box it should be here please forgive me please apologize me for this mistake okay if this b would be in small in lowercase then it would be an invalid identifier because that would be a keyword okay it's a keyword uh, break with small b then the fourth one fourth one is my dot file why is it invalid it's invalid because it contains a special character dot dot is also not allowed only an underscore is allowed i repeat okay then coming to punctuators what are punctuators punctuators are symbols used in programming languages to organize sentence structures and indicate the rhythm and emphasis of expression statements and program structure so just like in English language, program uh, punctuators are just some symbols that are uh, that have some meaning in the programming languages, just like keywords. But these are not words; these are just uh, characters, some special characters. So you may call them as key characters, okay? Which all uh, which uh, already have some reserved meaning in their programming languages. You may use them wherever you want. Just like for example, I'm giving the example of this this hashtag. Uh, you, we use hashtag in programming languages to put comments in the programming languages. Comments are something that do not affect the programming languages at all. We just write comments for our own for our own ease of understanding the program. Okay. So guys, this was all about this video. Uh, we will deal with the the rest two identifier uh, the, the rest two tokens of Python, which are uh, literals and uh, operators, in the next videos. So guys, this was all about this video. We'll meet you next time.